you see yourself driving up on the curb? You notice that at all? Yeah, I, I screwed up. Well, what was going on? I just wasn't paying attention. Going to work is never fun, but when the cops show up at your job to arrest you, you know it's a lot worse than regular Monday syndrome. So how does a person end up being dragged out of work in handcuffs? Sometimes it's a case of making mistakes, other times it's down to being straight up dumb. The following are four cases that are the definition of a bad day at the office. Case 1. Jennifer Davis, an elementary school teacher, was arrested after she was reportedly caught showing up to school under the influence of alcohol, as shown in this Tecumseh Police Department body camera video. So what's going on today? They said they had reports where I was drinking at school, right. which has never happened. Okay. When was the last time you had anything to drink? Uh, last night. How much did you drink? Just a glass of wine, nothing major. Okay. All right. Well, would you be willing to submit to some tests? Yeah. Jennifer is adamant that she's had nothing more than a single glass of wine the night before, but her colleagues have painted a different picture to the officers. So there's only one way to find out who's telling the truth. Time to run some tests. Okay. I want you to follow this. With your eyes and your eyes only, don't move your head. You understand? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just track on that. Keep your head as straight as you can, okay? Sorry, oh, yeah. I'm nervous. To add more evidence to this simple test, the officers next deploy a breathalyzer. All right, this is what we call our portable breathalyzer machine, okay? Yes. You, don't, you don't have to take the test, okay? But this will show the presence of alcohol if there's any Seven. alcohol. Okay? Um, but this, again, would be your opportunity. If teachers here or administrators feel that they smell alcohol on you, this would be your opportunity to prove this. Sure. Okay. You willing to take that test? Yes. Okay. I've been... You've been what? I haven't had anything today. Okay. Well, I, and if that's the case, or if there's nothing on board, because no, sometimes just, what you have, well, okay. if people have tied a really good one on the night before, it can carry over into the next day. This officer is trying to see if Jennifer will admit to having a little bit more to drink than the previous night that she had said earlier, but the results will tell him everything he needs to know. Big deep breath, blow, hard. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Good. Is that? You are just under the legal limit. So if you were to be out driving right now, you would be charged with DWI, driving while intoxicated. Under the legal limit? Just under it. The legal limit is 0 .08, which is DUI. From a .06 to 107, you could be charged with but DWI. I haven't had anything to drink today. Another officer steps in to explain what these numbers mean in terms of her level of intoxication. So under the legal limit just means that you're under the legal limit. It shows that there's alcohol in your system, so you are still technically intoxicated. You're just under the legal limit of 0.08. Like if you were to be out driving right now and you got pulled over and you did SFSTs like you just did, and did a, a breathalyzer, you could still be charged for DWI. Not DUI, but DWI. 
Okay. Does that make sense? Kind of. Okay. Yeah. But Jennifer's beginning to suspect she's being persecuted by a fellow member of her staff. It just makes me mad for somebody to say that I had stuff here. I've never. No. And like. Ever. And I know it's a small town. Yeah. Like Major Mallinson was saying that we have, we're not, we're not privy to that information. We just get a call and come do what, you know what I mean? Just for somebody to be like so vicious to say like, I just don't get it. Now we switch to see Principal Kenzie and another teacher discussing whether she'll be arrested or not. The cops think an arrest probably isn't necessary, but her colleagues seem to want Jennifer to go through the humiliation of being dragged from school in cuffs. That's the right thing to do, but it's also the, the thing that will draw uh, scrutiny and criticism from everybody yep. in the community. Because she's allowed to go home mm -hmm. with someone else and not be arrested? Yeah, I, I think the, the, <laughs> the thing we'll have to do there, just to speak the school language here for a second with you, is just she's not going to come back. Right. She's going to yeah. give me a letter if we're going to do it that way. So okay. I, I'm, I'm willing to, to go that way, or if she's not willing to give me a letter, <coughs> resignation. And that's something you'll work out between with her. But from a legal standpoint, I'm going to go ahead and make the arrest. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So you're going to arrest her and take her from here? Again, there's two ways now. You can look, view an arrest as she goes to jail, or I could cite and release on her own recognizance, provided she's got somebody that's sober that can come and take possession of her. And so you're going to give her that option? Well, no. That's okay. the decision I'm going to make before I walk back in that room. Okay. The decision is made by the principal and the officer that Jennifer needs to be taken out in handcuffs. Kenzie explains things to her back in the other room. In terms of your employment here, Jennifer, we we can't move forward with you being a teacher here any longer. Okay. If you want to resign, um, that's your option. Um, if you choose not to, though, I would be forced to go to the board and ask for your termination based on the outcome of today. I would like to resign. Jennifer accepts the opportunity to resign, but she has one request and a valid reason for asking. Can yeah. I have her you got it right here. Can yeah. I her not be arrested, like, handcuffed out, please? I'm not going to run on you. Well, I know that. I know that. It's but it is, my... this is in, the police department operates under policies and procedures, and I can't treat you any di more different than anybody else. Or we're setting ourselves up for liability. That's okay. fine. But it's now, just, I'm not going to run you down the hallways and trade you through. My child is in the third grade hole. She pleads to avoid having her child see her taken away in handcuffs, but the cops aren't there to make exceptions. She's going to be taken out like any other lawbreaker. All right, go ahead and put your hands in front of you with your thumbs facing up, please. What is my, I mean, what is my, is this going to go like on the news, Mr. Kinsey? Chances are it will, Jennifer. I, I don't have control over what they put on the news, but there's a good chance that once this gets reported, then uh, there will be statements we'll, we'll have to release and notes we'll have to send home to parents and then news reporters will probably show up. Uh, I will be as discreet as I can and in, in terms of how I handle it. Jennifer was slapped with charges of public intoxication and as a result, she lost her job as well as seeing her name all over the news. It's a tough lesson, but were her colleagues pushing too hard for her to be punished? Our next case is an altogether more dangerous form of being drunk on the job. An Amazon delivery driver totally out of control. Back in 2021, police pulled over 31-year-old Colin Sursik when his Amazon-branded delivery van was spotted driving wildly. They suspected a DUI. The officer went over to find out what Sursik had to say. Okay, yeah, he just ran up on the curb. I'm going to stop him. He, uh... 91 near Petty Bone. The officer, having spotted the van, sees it run right up on the curb. He puts lights on and pulls Sursig over. How you doing today? Okay. Yeah? You're just okay or what's going on today? You're what? I got you. You got a driver's license on you? What time did you start working today? Uh, 10. 10 this morning? Yeah. Do you know what time it is now? Uh, 
Do you have anything to drink today or? No. Do you have any medical conditions or anything? Uh, depression. Do you know, uh, can you say the alphabet starting with E and ending with W? The driver already seems a little bit out of it, but he managed to recite the alphabet okay. There's also a few other tests he'll have to pass, though. You see yourself driving up on the curve? You notice that at all? Yeah, I, I screwed up. Well, what was going on? I just wasn't paying attention. I mean, it was all down the road, though. You kind of, you hit the curb a couple times, didn't you? Yeah, I was... I was done with my route and I just screwed up. Yeah. All right. Do me a favor. Take your hat off for me, real quickly. And then, um, can you see the tip of my finger here? Mm -hmm. Just follow the tip of my finger with your eyes, okay? Don't move your head, just your eyes, all right? Don't move your head. Keep your head. Once again, Sursig doesn't seem to be in peak condition here, to say the least. This is, of course, a very serious charge given he's in charge of a vehicle on a public road. The officer wants to see how his balance is next. All right, next thing I'm gonna have you do, if you just take a couple steps back there, kind of towards your bumper or whatever, you can put your hat back on if you want. All right, what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna take one foot, whichever one you're most comfortable with. You're gonna pick your foot up, one foot up, whichever one you choose, point your toe. You're gonna to look down at your foot and count to 30 by thousands, okay? You understand that? Just hands out of your pockets, hands down to your side. And then uh, one foot, whichever one you're most comfortable with, count to 30 by thousands. You can begin whenever you're ready. Keep going, keep going. You got to, yeah. Six, one thousand. Seven, one thousand. You keep going. Eight, one thousand. And you could stop. All right. Next one I'm going to have you do. With, keep your hands out of your pockets, hands down to your side. I'm going to have you place your left foot in front of your right foot, just like this, all right? I'm going to give you a couple more instructions, and then uh, we're going to go from there, okay? So place your left foot right in front of your right foot, just like this. All right, when I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine heel-to-toe steps just down an imaginary line here, okay? So it's going to look something like this. You're going to go one, two, three. Three, you're gonna count out loud with each step till you make nine steps, all right? On your ninth step, you're gonna take three small pivot steps. Come around, get back on the line, and take nine heel to toe steps back down the line, okay? Do you have any questions? All right, you can uh, go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. All right, three small pivot steps or a series of pivot steps, and you can turn around and go. Go ahead. And how many steps? Nine steps back. As you can see, our Amazon driver is not exactly a master of balance, nor is he able to remember how many steps he walked just moments ago. This is all the officer needs to see for today.
Okay, do me a favor. We're going to place your hands right behind your back, all right? I'm going to place you under arrest for driving under the influence, okay? Are, is there alcohol in the car or what happened today? You just uh, have a couple for when you're working or? In the end, the officer took him down to the station for a breathalyzer where he blew a 0.284% BAC. In Ohio, the limit is 0.08%. In other words, this guy was seriously intoxicated. They later found a bottle of open bourbon in his truck. He bonded out of jail just before his trial, but needless to say, Amazon didn't require his services any longer. Driving drunk is always a bad idea, and our next case shows it can come back to haunt you even a year later. Alexa was a model employee at this restaurant in Sarasota, Florida, but she was in for a surprise when cops showed up with a warrant for her arrest. Her manager and colleagues were left in shock that their MVP had a troubled past that came back to haunt her. You're Alexa? I am. What's your full name? Alexa Chris and Cassetta. Okay, what's your date of birth, please? Uh, January 29th, 2001. Okay, this says 10 o'clock. Evidently, I'm gonna need you to turn around and put your hands behind your back, please. Okay. Evidently, you, you, have a, you have an active warrant out of Hillsborough County. 6235, 6210. Did you write to have a... Can you turn around, please? Yeah. Alexa is detained before she even knows what's happening. To her credit, she's cool as can be. The officer starts to ask her about something that took place in her past. Um, the DUI that I had? I'm not exactly certain, and we just got a call that we needed to come out here and check for you, and then see if there was, uh, if you were here, and there was evidently a warrant. I'm gonna see if that's I, I wasn't aware of the warrant. Okay, all right, well, we'll have to get that taken care of. It seems there's a warrant from nearby Hillsborough County out for her, but the officer takes care to verify the warrant. I do have this subject, 1012, detained currently, same name, date of birth. Can you confirm that warrant, please? So we just have a message. So they've gone. Somebody had gone out to your old residence to find you. Hillsborough County is called, and then we received information that your place of employment was here. So it was the request of me to come out and find you, based off of this this uh, evident warrant. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to have our before we start driving anywhere or whatever, I'm going to have our dispatchers confirm with Hillsborough County that the warrant is active. Well, it's in Hillsborough County, all the way in Tampa. I'm sorry? It's all the way in Tampa, Hillsborough County. Okay, right, exactly. But if it's an extraditable warrant, it, usually there's a certain radius around an area where a warrant, they'll want to, they'll be willing to get people from. And evidently that's the case. When did you have a DUI? Um, January of last year. So over a year ago? Over a year ago. Okay. Yeah. Have you been to court on it or? We've been to court. Okay, so you don't have any any idea why there'd be a warrant? Uh, I've probably because of the classes. Did you not go to classes? I haven't had any other classes, no. Well, that would probably be why. Okay. Because if you don't comply with court orders, then this is usually what happens. Is there a reason you didn't go? I've just been busy. My mom kicked me out, so I was just like struggling and moving in. And get and settled and everything money-wise, I've been struggling with everything too right now. And okay. Alexa's been turning her life around, working hard and dealing with family issues. But she hasn't been attending her court-ordered classes following her DUI. This is a big mistake. But now her manager wants to speak up on Alexa's behalf. Everything just happened when I have to do that. Yes, of course. She is one of the best okay. employees that we have and she works probably anywhere from 50 to 60 hours a week. I might. She's here all day, every day. Mm -hmm. I just gave her a promotion. I am so shocked and sad of all the people that this is happening to. I am very, very surprised. That's why we... Last person in the building I would have never <laughs> thought. <laughs> Well, folks make mistakes. I mean, yeah. things happen. Um, yeah. I don't know and the circumstances surrounding the incident at all. It's from a different county. I, I'm clueless. So yes. that's why I'm, you know, they're saying, hey, can you go look to so see if she's here? What we're going to do is we are going to do whatever needs to get done. Mm -hmm. So everyone, that is, we're going to be kind to everyone. And whatever needs to be done, we say yes. And we will get this. Everyone oh, in this building yeah. is here to help you. 
so we're waiting on two, just so you know, we're waiting on two things right now. I'm waiting for them to confirm the warrant from Hillsboro. Um, once they confirm that and they say, yep, it's in the system and they, Hillsboro's acknowledging the fact that it's there and they, um, they're they going to be made aware that you're with us and then we'll see what's going to happen. If it's confirmed, then we'll just take you down to the Sarasota County Jail. Secondarily to that, I'm waiting for a female officer to come out um, with us so that you can be patted down and searched because it's uh, more proprietous that way. All right, we'll just get through it. So if the warrant is accurate, she goes to Sarasota County? Correct. That's where I take her now. And then Hillsboro would arrange transport up there if, if, if that's what's going to happen. I, again, I don't know. It's, it's uh, being out of county. I wish I could tell you more, but I, I don't know more. The manager is really taking care of her star team member here, and it seems the officer is also sympathetic to Alexa's situation. He wants to know how serious the DUI was. Were your charges misdemeanor level? Misdemeanor. Did you expect that all that anything might catch up to you if you didn't go to the classes? I was going to do good because I'll be trying to get a day to go and do it and get the classes done. I was trying to go this weekend to do it. I, it's, it's been on my mind. I know I have to do it and I've, I've been trying to go and right. do it. I just can't. Okay, I would let them definitely let them know that. Now a female officer arrives to assist. The manager is still pressing for information so they can help her as much as possible. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to walk back to his vehicle over It'll here. Okay. Get your phone number. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank yeah. You. She'll be able to get phone numbers and make phone calls from okay, there. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So just let me know, let, Alex. Let y'all know. We're thank just you. taking her down to the Sarasota County Jail. Mm -hmm. um, it, the warrant was confirmed through Hillsboro, mm -hmm. so they'll have to determine if they want to bring her up or, or how that might work. Okay. So, um, hopefully you can just get through this and, and be, be done. Do you think she'll so, be bonded tonight? I don't believe so. Okay. So, uh, but if you want to try and call the jail in a little while, just to kind of see if they'll give you any, any sort of an update. Then, okay. That'd be, that'd but be she'll fun. be able to call. Yeah, I'll she'll be able to make out. a phone call. Okay. Yeah, so she can be bailed out. Somebody will let her call me and I'll go bail her. Yeah, if she can, they'll okay. let you know. Right. Um, being that it's Hillsboro, that might not be right. an option. Right. So, um, but again, if you, uh, the county jail will they're the ones that control all that. They'll have a bit of answers for that being out here. Right. I, I don't I don't know. Right. So I would just call them in a little bit. Oh, sorry. Um, and then we'll we'll just go from there. Okay. All right. So I do apologize for coming in that way. Thank you for helping us make it as, yeah, as absolutely. easy as, as, and as I possible. And I mean it, what I yeah. said, yeah. out of anybody in this building, that was my last guess. Mm -hmm. I am right. in absolute shock I know. Like, right like, now. Looks like there was just a mistake over a year ago, and then She's just so due to being busy, hasn't been able to get to that class. And unfortunately, they, yeah. if that was a... Yeah, I was going to say, Hillsboro doesn't mess around. Yeah. Yep. So let's, we're going to go get that taken care of, get her through this as quickly as we can. Again, our involvement just goes to the jail, do some paperwork, and then she'll be transferred there. Okay. So I'll just call them in a little while. But, Thanks. and again, I apologize for coming in to no, replace some work. No, no, no. You're doing your job. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you so much. The manager is going to bail her out of jail at the first opportunity. This is an awesome move by the manager, and it shows what a star Alexa is. But she's still going to have to rectify her mistakes and she's starting to worry about how serious it might be. They should have already notified Hillsborough County that we located you. So Hillsborough County will be in contact with our Sheriff's Department to see when and how they want to transport you back there. You'll probably have to see a judge. Hopefully they'll be able to get you back there tomorrow. Am I gonna get like arrested and arrested? So, I'm not sure what you mean like, by that. For like weeks. Days. Probably like, not. Like, no, like for just DUI. Um, I mean, warrant. It's just a misdemeanor DUI. Then, yeah. I yeah, I think they're probably just going to hold you long enough to get you up there and have you see a Hillsborough <laughs> County judge. And, and then that judge will set either a bond or bail amount or determine kind of what the next steps are. Okay? But it, might, it could take. It be, is it. What day is it? Is it Thursday? Hopefully today, I'm not sure if they do transports on the weekends or not all the time, but hopefully they'll be able to get you up to Hillsboro soon so you'll be able to get into a first appearance like relatively soon. So you shouldn't be, I wouldn't imagine you'd be detained longer than a day or two, okay? Alexa did everything she could to get her life back on track after a DUI, except one of the most important things, which is to attend her classes. Her manager did a great job in defending her and hopefully she'll be right back to work and attending her classes. Our final case is of a woman who doesn't seem to have been able to learn the same lessons. 
Kaylee Lewis brings more experience with the criminal justice system to the table than you might gather from watching this video. However, most of her encounters with it trace back to a methamphetamine charge she caught several years ago. Back then, she was slapped with probation as her punishment, but she soon turned up in Arizona, where she got herself arrested once again. Lewis didn't stop there. She missed several mandatory court appearances and didn't stick to the terms of her probation. She skipped meetings with her probation officer and even tested positive for methamphetamine while eight months pregnant. It's clear that addiction can take a toll. In her most recent run-in with the law, as we see in this video, Lewis found herself in trouble for felony theft from her former employer. So this is stemming from past incidents that happened on Friday and Saturday, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, from what he's saying, that basically a male accomplice of hers, their male acquaintance that she knows, uh, came up with a cart to her register. She removed the security tags and didn't ring up that merchandise whatsoever. And you said it's over a thousand dollars. Yeah, just the one item, six hundred dollars. Gotcha. And uh, and then that night she got in uh, a vehicle. Mm. A white pickup. White pickup? With with the sides and a light on top. Uh -huh. And then the next day when he walked out with stuff and went out, very same pickup. Okay. Tim's made the cops' jobs a heck of a lot easier by practically completing half the investigation himself. He might be a hardware store manager, but he could have been a detective. We don't know. That was just one of the items video on the part. Getting in, mm -hmm. the associate saw her getting into the vehicle. Oh, okay. And then we have it leaving, and then the next night we have the other the leaving oh. also. Tim has plenty more info for the officers on Kaylee's criminal scheme. Said over here, a hundred and thirty, forty dollar helmet and some other things too. Okay, while so. you guys are talking to her in there mm -hmm. and, and looking at the video, I can scrounge up all the item numbers and get you a total if you want. Yeah. With helpful employees like this, the cops get a clear idea of what to say to Kaylee when they meet her. It's important to establish the value of the item stolen, as this could have a serious impact on the charges that she may end up facing. Now it's time to go see Kaylee, who's out back writing her statement. This is what was purchased, the other stuff was not, but that's the transaction that's okay. Now comes the critical part. If the value of the items is over a felony amount, things are going to be much more serious for Kaylee. So right now we're just waiting on that other amount, and then we'll see what happens. Now we have the awkward moment where Kaylee has to sit there while her colleagues and cops look through the video of her stealing thousands of dollars worth of merchandise from her employer. Once the manager confirms and signs an affidavit to say what he sees on the video, it's time for Kaylee to go downtown. Okay. Go ahead and stand up. Spin around, put your hands on your back for me. You're going to be placed under arrest for sufficient theft of property, okay? We're going to go talk to Detective Hudson, which at that time he's going to read you your Miranda rights. I'm not going to ask you any questions or anything of that nature because that would infringe on your rights. I'm not going to do that, okay? Here's an interesting moment. The officer wants to help her with her things from her locker, but she's not too keen on taking her purse down to see Detective Hudson. So we can probably guess what she has inside of it. Keep my purse outside. I mean, I, if I was I mean, you. I'm saying because I mean, I'm going to be on foot. I don't Most likely you're going to be banned from here. No, I'm saying outside of here. And you wanted to get stolen? It's starting to dawn on Kaylee that things are about to get a little rough. This has not been a good day at work for her. Do you think I'm going to go to jail? You're going to talk to a detective. That's going to determine what's, what's the next process. According to the state of Arkansas, Lewis and her co-defendant, Nicholas Preston, were accused of conspiring to swipe over $1,000 worth of merchandise from the hardware store where she worked as a cashier. Sadly, it seems drugs had motivated her to commit these crimes. 